Music, food, games, and raffles weren't the only reason students came to TCU's Taste of Faith Festival. Students also came to kick off the school year with TCU's Office of Religious and Spiritual Life to make new friends and join various students' organizations. Angela Kaufman, the university minister, said that this was the first time the university had offered the Taste of Faith Festival. Most importantly, we wanted to do something to unite the student groups, the student religious groups on campus, in serving the rest of the student body. Many students were unaware of the variety of religious groups on campus, but with local musicians providing entertainment and local restaurants providing food, students were able to enjoy themselves while learning about the different organizations. I knew they were there, but I didn't know how many there were, I guess. Like, there's a lot that I didn't even know existed. The coordinator of the Taste of Faith Festival said that she was surprised at the number of students that attended, considering it was the first year it has been done. Well, this is our first time to do this, so we had no idea what to expect, but our first table ran out of food already, and we're 20 minutes into the event. TCU has hundreds of students already involved with religious organizations on campus. The Taste of Faith Festival helped new students see what organizations fit them best. Students at the event agreed that there is a religious organization for all beliefs, and it is a great way to be a part of TCU. Religious life is a really great way to get involved on campus. Um, there's so many things to get involved in, uh, religious life-wise, and it just does help uh, take our 8,000 students down to a small group. With good food and great turnout, the TCU Office of Religious and Spiritual Life thought the first ever Taste of Faith Festival was a success. Ashley Irvine, TCU News Now.